On April 12th, the University of Maryland received a new Functional Magnetic Resonance Imaging, or fMRI, scanner. It allows us to basically uh, be able to see how the brain is functioning and what are the structures of the brain as we are doing all sorts of things like uh, memory, reading, language, uh, a whole host of uh, issues that are of interest to the researchers here. The machine was delivered to the Avram Godulski building. By using a crane, workers lift the 14-ton machine into the air and roll it through a wall. Slow, slow it down, slow it down. The fMRI scanner is the most critical piece for the Maryland Neuroimaging Center that's under construction. Both are supported by a $2 million grant from the National Science Foundation. We're going to be using it to study how emotion and cognition actually interact with each other. So we're going to be having subjects here performing experiments and the machine allows us to see the brain in activity as people develop work through these, these tasks so that we can understand both basic science as well as clinical, clinically relevant research. The goal is to bring the most modern scientific tools to a single place to study how the human brain works. I'm very excited that this is coming here. I'm closely involved in the cross-campus language science initiative which brings together people from 10 different departments all over campus. And this is something which is going to contribute to the interdisciplinary work we've been doing for many years. It's really exciting to see this coming in right now. What we have here, the MRI system, is something we're going to be able to combine with a variety of other different types of cognitive neuroscience methods in order to get a converging picture of what the brain is doing. I'm Sean McCauley, reporting for the UMD News Desk.